Hello YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood Dawson Rider here with another SH Figure Arts review of Common Rider Double Heat Metal and Luna Trigger. I'm um, sorry it took so long to get these, but I had to wait for them to be shipped together and I decided to film them in one review. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do Heat Metal first since he uh, is the first to release. Let's go over the packaging. They continue their new style of packaging again, but it looks more normal because of uh, metal being gray and silver, so the packaging color is about normal. Picture of Heat Metal there. And then the name, Common Rider Double, once again with the Common Rider, nice. Um, it is Common Rider, not Mass Rider. I don't care what you say, KRX-50, fuck off. Um, and then on the back here it shows a picture of him doing his poses. Um, so, nice. So, um, once again, they continue the style, but it's not as noticeable as Double or Luna. So, um, for what he comes with, um, he comes with two punchy hands as always, obviously, given color for each side. And then he comes with well, I've, these on him, so this is just uh, each representation. Holding hands for the metal shaft, and um, splayed open hands, which I also have on a metal version. And he comes with a non-extended version of the metal shaft, which looks really great. Great detailings, and there's a little peg to put on his back, which I'll show in a minute. Um, let's go ahead and rip this away from him. Here's the extended version, very long. That's what she said. That is a funny joke in some circles, just saying. Um, and it is also very nicely detailed as you can see, and it fits very well in his hand um, and then like I showed you there's a little peg in the back and it goes on for the metal shaft and you can put it on so he's very well accessorized so um, articulation is pretty much the same as double um, double doesn't have much restricting him, or cyclone joker excuse me, he doesn't have much restricting him so all the same joints, 360, double, uh, swivel, no point, puns here, swivel all around, uh, double knee joint, swivel, so basically the same so, um, detail-wise, this guy looks really good. Um, he looks a faithful representation to the show, obviously. I think he looks really badass. Heat metal is awesome. Um, the color-wise, though, um, the metal side looks very nice. Nice and talc, um, especially the way it's showing up on camera. It looks very, very nice. Um, the heat side does look good, but um, I'm going to note that the colors are different. Like, if you can notice here, I believe the camera's picking up very well. This is more of a dark crimson red on his uh, chest here. And then on his waist, it's more of a... I don't know, like a Play-Doh red? I don't know. It's just a different red. You can even tell just the different shades, which I have no idea why they did that. Um, what the purpose behind that was, why they had to make them different shades. Um, if you place him in a light, he can look good, but it's not um, too noticeable. It still looks nice, but if you have him like in a really bright light, like right now, or by a window, then it is pretty noticeable. So um, that's one of the complaints. Once again, the double driver uh, looks nice sculpt, but the memories aren't painted. Um, there was lots of complaints with this guy about um, paint mistakes and um, just like scratches. I believe I only really have one tiny scratch on the back. I was really lucky. After my double having a loose leg, or my Cyclone Joker, excuse me, again, um, I was really expecting to have a lot of trouble, but uh, Heat Metal, which most people seem to be having a lot of trouble with, I had the least trouble with. All of his joints are tight. No paint mistakes on mine. So, um, barring the, um, the different paint here and then the uh, the non-painted memories, and then the joints which people complain about, which I don't really give a shit about. Um, I really like Heat Metal a lot. He's really awesome. Um, and of course, I'm a huge Double fan, so I'm slightly biased. But Double is a, I mean Double, Heat Metal Double is a great figure. Um, if you're a fan, I recommend picking it up highly. Um, he looks really nice, and if you're lucky enough to get one that's not messed up, then I, I highly recommend it. He's a great figure. Um, let me show the details a little more. I didn't do that. You see the compound eyes. Um, yeah, just get an overall good pan of him. See, he looks good. You can tell the color differences, though. But, um, overall, he's still a great figure, um, especially if you're a double fan. So let's go on to the next one, which is Luna Trigger with his packaging. A um, more noticeable change this time is the packaging is a light blue. And then the name, Common Rider again, is yellow. And on the side here. And, um, there's a picture on the back. And there's a quote on each one. I'm sorry, I don't know what it says. Um, I'm not a translator and then it shows what comes with them. So nice packaging once again. It's more noticeable than Heat Metal, just like Cyclone Joker was. Um, for what he comes with, basically same as Heat Metal hand-wise. Um, he's got... Let me move this... God damn it. Sorry. Let me move this shit out of the way. Um, he comes with uh, two punchy hands. And he comes with um, a hand for each side for holding the trigger magnum and a splayed open hand. This hand is just different than the Heat Metal one because it's got an actual trigger finger. And then he comes with two versions of the Trigger Magnum, this one which is non-loaded. And let me just say, the sculpt and the paint on these are absolutely fantastic. 
You can see right there, just look at the sculpting details, look really outstanding. And the paint everywhere is just extremely show accurate and really well done. Um, once again, let me pry the weapon from double. And there it is, loaded. Once again, a very nice sculpt. Looks great. So, um, here is Luna Trigger. Once again, uh, same articulation, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, he looks very nice. Um, personally, I think that his yellow Luna side looks a little pale to me. That might just be me being nitpicky or just, I don't know, my eyes or something. But he just looks a little pale to me compared to the show. But otherwise, other than that, he looks really great. Um, I notice, I've talked to other people about it, they don't seem to notice it as much, but I believe the blue also has different colors, similar to the uh, heat side. Um, you can actually kind of tell on camera, this is a little darker than this blue, so once again, they changed the colors up on this side. I have no idea why they did that. So, um, that's one of the things going bad for this figure. Uh, once again, the, um, the memories aren't painted, and the joints, which I don't give a shit about those though, but I thought I'd mention it. Um, but otherwise he looks really great, um, all the details are there. Um, nice compound face. He looks like a great figure. He's a great figure. Um, this one I had problems with. My legs are pretty loose. So, but, um, otherwise he's good. Um, so, for Luna, I have to say I was a little bit disappointed in Luna. I was looking forward to him. Luna Trigger, excuse me. Um, but he had a lot of problems. Probably my most problems so far. He's got, uh, you know, weak legs and, um, uh, no paint mistakes, but then the, this, this kind of being pale to me, but that's probably just me. And the colors being different. But overall, I still like them. Um, I have a lot of more criticisms for these figures, but at the same time, I'm biased because I really love Double and would buy them no matter what. So, um, final verdict on both is if you're a Double fan and a Fig Arts fan, I recommend them. They're not bad, bad figures by any stretch of the imagination. They're, um, they're still great figures. It's hard to truly make a bad Fig Art. But the Double ones do seem to have a lot more mistakes, maybe because they're rushing the production a bit since it's new, even though it didn't come out at the beginning of the series. I don't know why they're rushing it. I think they could just slow down a little bit. But overall, they're still great figures, um, especially my heat metal. Um, watch out for paint mistakes, um, but if you can get past some of the um, discolorations, which is not really that huge of a deal, I can recommend them. They're still solid figures. Um, they look great with Cyclone Joker. So um, they both get a solid 8 out of 10. They're still great figures, and I recommend them. So um, the as of this recording, within a week or so, the um, Cyclone and heat sets will be coming out and I'll getting those for sure so when they get here I'll review them so hopefully they fix maybe some of the joint problems and um, they have plenty of double figures to uh, fix things up so I'm looking forward to those reviews um, just a quick update here at the end on my room tour it will be coming extremely soon I only have to fix a few more things in my room and collection to make it look presentable and then the room tumor will tumor <laughs> room tumor oh my god alright so room tour will be here so, um, thank you for watching, um, thank you to all my subscribers once again, 550 something, 54 I think as of this, I really appreciate it, I'm glad to come this far, um, just thank you to all of you for watching, please, um, rate, whatever the new fucking rating system is, uh, comment and subscribe, check out my blog at dawsonwriter.wordpress.com, and check out my, uh, vlog channel at Dawson Writer Blog. So until next time, signing out.